Alright guys, welcome back. I um, forgot to mention this in the last video, I did put it in the description, but in case you didn't see it, if you want to do the next Fort Condor mission, it's open before you go to Bone Village, or if you've entered, just leave real quick and then go do the next Fort Condor mission. Um, now here, we've probably already been here before I was in my uh, video a couple ones back. Um, so what we're going to do now, before we were just buying items, now we're actually going to do some digging. So to continue on in the story, we have to get the Looter Harp. So we're going to get that. We're also going to get one other thing. So talk to this guy and say you want to go for the Looter Harp. So, we don't even need a search. Hit square to ignite the explosion. And then you want to stand exactly right here. So we're not going to get the Looter Harp just yet. We're going to get a different item first. Right now, you can't get everything. But you can get a couple nice items right now, so what we're going to go for right now is the Bunt Line, which is a weapon for Vincent. You can also get the Mop, which is a weapon for Sid. That would be his weapon that has no Materia slots on it. You can also get some Elixirs and X Potions. So there, we just got the Bunt Line. Now I'm going to go for the actual Lunar Harp, so select Lunar Harp. And you shouldn't need any uh, searches, so just hit done, ignite the explosion. And you see the smoke that's coming out of this building here, you're going to want to stand um, basically in the smoke or right next to it and there we are we just got the lunar harp now we can continue on we're going to go down the same pathway that we got the Kajata summon earlier So if you haven't got the Kajata summon yet, get it now while we're here. And as soon as it says the Sleeping Forest awoke, you will have yet another Fort Condor mission unlocked that you can go to. So if you're doing all the Fort Condor missions, you're going to do one before you get to Bone Village, and you're going to do one as soon as the Sleeping Forest awakes. And under this big log will take us to this treasure chest where will get us the water ring. You'll want to equip that onto someone right now. If you are wanting to level up limit breaks, this is a great place to do it because you always fight five enemies here.
Now once you get into this room, your party is going to want to rest. I just said no because I wanted to make sure that I grabbed this real quick. It's the third enemy skill. But in order to continue the story, you're going to have to rest. Now we're off to find Ares. If you want the next Fort Condor mission, this is it. So after you take the nap, the next Fort Condor mission will be open. And then when you're done, you're gonna to wanna to head straight down this path. If you went down this path earlier, you'd notice that there wasn't any way to go forward. Well, now that um, you've taken your nap, the, a secret passage has opened up. sure to grab this comet materia and equip it as soon as you get it
Okay, I know this is supposed to be a sad part, but look at Sephiroth's hands right here. Now look at his hands. Somehow in that half a second as he was killing Ares he managed to slip on his gloves. I always thought that was a neat little trick. Now here we have our next boss fight. This is against another Genova. And for a lot of people this is where we get Aqualung for the first time. But if you got it when I did, you should already have it. However, you do not want to cast it against Genova. It will heal her. But we just got another enemy skill. So if you have it equipped, you can get Aqualung for it right now. However, which does this does not happen very often, but I did not get Aqualung during this fight. Like, Genova did not cast it once. Usually she will cast it when she's close to dying, but she never really got close to dying because I used Meteor Rain on her, which killed her. And I'm sure her ha her health was only around halfway down. So, um, in that rare instance, she may not cast it. But if you if you want her to, just don't do anything too powerful after you've been fighting her for a while. What I did here was I'd use Beta, I used Bahamut, Odin, and my limit breaks for my for my attacks. If you want her to cast Aqualung, and even if you don't, you want to keep your HP above like 1100 if you can at all times, because Aqualung will do some serious damage to you if she does cast it. <laughs> 